But yeah, it took the entire house to the core. During last week's storm, a tree fell on Michelle Mall's North End Hamilton home, and it caused some significant damage. Two of the rafters in the dormer roof uh, were cracked and broke. The shingles came off. Um, there were a couple extra holes in the roof. Um, my driveway was kind of hurt, <laughs> and uh, the pillar on my house has tilted a bit. My concrete steps were cracked, and uh, the ceiling and wall in my bedroom um, kind of, it didn't fall, it just cracked a lot. And if that wasn't enough, she got a citation from the city. To make, secure the building and make safe, provide professional engineer's letter for the structural stability of the building, and obtain a building permit by June 6th. This was handed to me as the tree was still in my house. Ironically, the city ended up removing the tree that same day. She says she also called her insurance company and waited hours to speak with someone. After a lot of back and forth, they finally sent help. They've had a roofer out, structural engineer to come and make sure the house was safe. Um, they've had a contractor assigned and they've I, the only thing I'm missing is an adjuster. According to the Insurance Bureau of Canada, every insurance policy is different, but damage to homes caused by a windstorm or rain is usually covered, including flying debris or falling trees. Neil Kennedy's power was shut off because of a fallen tree branch. When the tree came down, down the street, a uh, branch broke off and uh, landed on the service line that we have to the house here and that brought the service line down, damaged the mast at the side of the house. He ended up paying around $2,500 out of pocket to have it fixed, so the power could be restored to his house. He has yet to contact his insurance provider. Well, we haven't contacted the insurance directly. I was still trying to find out if the city could cover something first. I know there would be deductibles for insurance and then rate hikes. He says the city didn't cover any of the damage. As for Michelle, she's still waiting to hear how much the repairs will cost. But she says because this is her first claim, there is no deductible. And the Insurance Bureau of Canada says it's always a good idea to take pictures of the damage. Keep all your receipts associated with the cost of cleanup and any additional expenses if you're displaced. Sean Cowan, CHCH News. Do you want to do one with like in the...